Hey, welcome into Mr. Gear. Today we're changing the oil on my 2009 Toyota Camry V6, 3.5 liter. I've got 289,000 miles on this car. So that's a lot of oil changes, every 5,000 miles. So, if you've never done an oil change on your 2009, I think it's like 2007 to 11, maybe, or the same. Um, look that up, you can Google it. This is how you do it. As per usual, I like to pop this plug open, just helps it drain. I just went to the parts store, so this is gonna be hot. I'm not looking forward to popping the drain plug. Focus. There's the drain plug, pretty standard. The filter's right here, it's in housing. Uh, you're supposed to undo this and let the oil drain out and then take it off. Usually I start taking that off and the whole thing spins so I just dump it out. my socket. Alright. This is a 14 millimeter. Oh, I think 16 is out. Like I said, this is hot, so I want to keep away from it as much as possible. Bad, almost 300,000 miles, still no metal shavings on the magnet. Sweet. Let's let that drain for a bit. Ow! the filter housing. Usually I just put the ratchet in there. I mean, with an extension. I don't know why you can see that. But. Oh, geez, that's tight. Come on. There it goes. Go ahead and throw this back in so I can move this directly under this thing because I have a feeling it's going to dump. Remind me, plug's not tight yet. There she blows. I'm not super into this design. I know that this is supposed to drain it out, but it never works. So messy. There it goes. Geez, that's hot. Really important that this seal is here 
and not there. Otherwise, bad things happen. Okay, now let's clean this thing up and put the new foot. Okay. Let's clean this guy up. This is just paint thinner. Why paint thinner? It's because it's what I have. I forgot to grab some brake cleaning. I was at the parts store. So we're gonna replace this gasket, so might as well get that off so we can clean behind it. This comes right off. Okay. New filter. It comes with this thing for draining it. I think these are the same both ends, I don't think it matters. It does come with two gaskets, the other gaskets for this thing that never comes loose. You'd think I would do something with that eventually, but so I'm just gonna get a little old oil here. Make sure this gasket's good and wet. I made the mistake of getting in a hurry and going to a quick change oil place. And they pulled this out. The gasket's stuck in the car. They didn't notice, they put it back in, gasket rolled all the way up, and I made it out of the parking lot and all the oil dumped all over the ground. That was awesome. And every time I've gone, I've told them it was six quarts. They only put in five. So back when this was the company car, they would just pay to have it serviced, and I eventually just started keeping my receipts and using them, letting them pay for the product, products. <laughs> Doing it myself. All right, let's throw this back in. So I'm gonna put about, I'm gonna fill this thing about halfway up. That way it won't take so long to fill. You go anymore and it spills all over the place because it goes on at an angle. Snug this up with the ratchet. It kind of pushes against the spring and just goes up and seats. And that's it. <clears throat> Tighten up our oil plug. We can dump some oil on this thing. I didn't put a new crash gasket on. I forgot to get one. But it's never leaked, so we'll see. All right, test the funnel. It fits perfect like that on an angle. Yeah, I don't 
own spray bottle. You can make your own. Okay. Five quarts of full synthetic. O'Reilly's brand. It's like 20, I wanna say, how much was it? That was 21 bucks. Not bad. And then I had to get an extra quart, which was four thirty-nine. And then that Wix filter was twelve bucks. So not bad. Still cheaper than going in. I mean, I think the days of the thirty-dollar oil change are over. Plus, you gotta deal with them trying to upsell you. That's ridiculous. And then the guys that are doing it have had minimal training. What's left of our cork? I'm gonna make six. Operating range right now. So once it goes all the way down, we'll be good. Got a long trip tomorrow, so we'll run it and check it when I get gas. See if it needs anything else. All right, let's turn that maintenance required light off. All right, set it to trip A. Turn the car off. Hold the button down. Cycle it back on. Maintenance is flashing, flashing, flashing. And off. That's it. Pretty easy. Okay. That was super easy. Not real difficult. You can go to one of those quick change places, pay more because you're paying for all the labor. You don't know what kind of oil you're going to get. And you don't know what kind of qualifications the people that are doing it have so do it yourself work on your own car it's fun i enjoy it do get yourself a good drain pan though that's the best investment i ever made and if you don't have a custom funnel <laughs> that you've made for your car get a funnel too so you don't make a mess when you're changing your oil uh, please like and subscribe thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time